Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our feelings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 104 My soul, bless God your Maker. My soul, bless God your Maker. God, you are magnificent, clothed with glory and majesty, wrapped in a cloak of light. You stretch out the skies like a tent, your home is beyond the heavens. The clouds provide your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. Breezes and gales are your messengers. Fire and flames your attendants. You set the earth on foundations, so firm it will never be shaken. You clothe the earth with seas. Their waters cover the mountains. And then you set clear limits to safeguard the earth from flooding. You supply grass for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate. So good food comes from the earth and wine to cheer our spirits. How splendid are all your works, rooted in heavenly wisdom. Creatures of earth and sea look to you for provision. By your spirit all is created and the face of the earth is renewed. My soul, bless God your Maker. My soul, bless God your Maker. Listen now for the word and wisdom of God. The reading today is from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, reading verses 38 to 42. Some scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except for the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the sea monster, so for three days and three nights the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth. The people in Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah. And see, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to, to listen to the wisdom of Solomon, and see, something greater than Solomon is here. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Who 
crush your people delight claiming God above takes no notice they proclaim that heaven is blind that the God of Jacob is silent stupid fools when will you listen now take heed you ignorant people for to give us sight and healing as observed The Lord will not stay away, nor forsake his well-beloved people. Heaven's justice soon will appear, and the pure in heart will embrace it. Yes, the ones whom God instructed, who revere and study God's word, will be saved from all that harms them while a pit is dug for the wicked. Should the wrong change places with right, and the courts lay host to corruption, should the innocent fear for their lives, while the guilty smile at their scheming, still the Lord will be your refuge, be your strength and courage and power, your food should verge on sleeping, God will cherish, keep, and protect you. Our Father in heaven, remind us constantly that you are parent to all your children, whoever and wherever they are. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, establishing peace and justice, hope and life for all. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and disturb us into awareness of the needs of others. Forgive us our sins, our pride and our prejudices, as we forgive those who sin against us. On the 19th day, we pray for human rights and gender justice and for the Iona Community Common Concern Networks. And we pray for the following countries, for Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. And on this day we pray for members belonging to the family group of Yorkshire One. Naomi Anderson, Anna Briggs and Gordon Smith, Peter Coates, Patricia Cummings, Elaine Gisborne and Michael Gisborne, Christine Green, Barry Parker and Anne, Ruth Silla, Jane Speck and Paul Novak, with Maisie and Harrison, Rosalind Sutcliffe and Pat Wellburn. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in Scotland East.
Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us, and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and, and if, if it be your holy will, will grant that, that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of Love, God in community, holy and one.